All right, in this video, we're going to do Lewis structures again, showing multiple bonds. In this case, uh, a little bit different than the last time, we're going to look at cases where we have double or triple bonds. Remember, it is still covalent, and these are two nonmetals or more, depending on what's in your formula. Okay? As with the last time, we are still following the octet rule, which said eight electrons, except for hydrogen, which gets to have two. Um, you still follow that rule. In fact, you follow it all the time, whether it's uh, ionic or covalent. Uh, let's look at the example of um, HCN. Okay, so we're going to draw the Lewis structure for HCN. Remember, step number one is still doing the math. Um, we need to look at the elements that are involved in our compound. And there's one of each of these. If we look at the periodic table, to find the number of valence electrons, I'm going to go ahead and fold it. We can see hydrogen is here, it has one valence electron, carbon has four, and nitrogen has five. If you don't remember how to find the valence electrons, um, make sure you ask somebody for some help. When you do this math, this is going to indicate that we need ten electrons or ten dots in our picture. Okay, we'll come back to that later. All right, step number two, if you remember, was place our elements. So we need to place something in the center that is not hydrogen. Hydrogen cannot go in the center. Our first element is hydrogen, so we're going to skip that. Typically, you go with the next one. So our molecule is going to be in this order with carbon in our center. All right. Step number three is to place two electrons between um, the elements. I'm going to start using pencil now. I am putting two electrons between each pair of elements. All right, our, and this is pretty simple. Step four, then we need to complete our octet rule. Remember, hydrogen only gets two. When we do that, carbon here in the center needs to have some more electrons on it, and nitrogen also needs some more electrons. Uh, hydrogen is happy with just this two. It is stable. It has met its octet rule. Okay. Step number five is to go back and check your total numbers. Uh, when we count in this picture, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Fourteen does not equal ten. So this is no good. What we need to do is we need to edit this. We need to continue working on it. 14 is not 10. We see that. 14 is not 10. When we're doing this now, we need to have step number six would be we need a multiple bond. So you can have a double or you can have a triple. And we'll come back to which the best choice in a minute. When you do a multiple bond, you're going to erase two pair. And if you think about it, two pair is really four electrons. So we're going to erase four electrons. You need to erase off of adjacent elements. They have to be touching. So we can't erase off the hydrogen and the nitrogen. We have to erase off of two that are side by side. I'm going to erase off the bottom of the nitrogen and the bottom of the carbon. And then I am going to replace one pair between them. Okay? So I erased here and here, and I'm going to put one pair back in between. So I have, in between this carbon and nitrogen, I have four electrons, which is a double bond. Last step, we need to recount we're going to look. Nitrogen has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So this is 12. Is 12 10? No. We're not done. Sometimes you have to repeat as needed. Okay. So we're going to go back up to here and continue working. I'm going to erase another two pair. I'm going to take a two pair here and here are my two pair. And they have to be adjacent. I erased and now I need to replace them in between the two elements where I took them from. Now I'm going to count my whole picture. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 is 10. 
good, we're finally where we need to be. Now let's double check and make sure that we've met our octet rule. This nitrogen right here in this on the right has two, four, six, eight. These eight electrons all belong to this nitrogen. This carbon in the center has two, four, six, eight. These eight are around the carbon. And then hydrogen over here has its two. So what's going on is this hydrogen is single bonded to the carbon and then the nitrogen is triple bonded to the carbon and it has one lone pair. So you can show this with the six dots or the three lines. Either way, they both represent a triple bond. So whenever you have to do a multiple bond, you have some steps that you might have to repeat as needed. You're erasing two pair, four electrons. You are picking adjacent elements, so that means they're side by side. And you're replacing one pair back in between. So you took away a pair here and a pair here, and then you put a pair back in between them. You have to recount to make sure that you have the right number. You see that we did 14 and 12. We had to do that twice. And then you repeat as needed. So multiple bonds are just adding some more layers to the Lewis structure.